Welcome back. Sam's still raising hell out by the baggage carousel. So is focus on diversity to blame for hiring the thief from baggage claim? Sam Brinton, the non-binary 35-year-old Deputy Assistant Secretary for Spent Fuel and Waste Disposition at the Department of Energy's Office of Nuclear Energy. <laughs> God, we, we could have run a My Pillow commercial in between saying that job title. <laughs> Try my socks. Well, he's facing new grand larceny charges after allegedly stealing a suitcase at the Las Vegas airport. Now, if memory serves me correctly, which it rarely does, it was just last week when we told you Sam was on leave from, their, from his job, her job, for snatching another woman's luggage in Minneapolis. In that incident, Sam denied the theft, then later copped to it, saying it was a mistake. We didn't buy it. But typically, the contents will let you know if you got the wrong bag. <laughs> but in Sam's case, he claimed the clothes were his. Also, Brinton never checked a bag before the <laughs> flight, which makes walking off with a bag mighty strange. That's <laughs> so true, brilliant man. <laughs> brilliant, tall, gorgeous man. <laughs> According to the lo local Las Vegas news, it's unclear when the new crime occurred. And although the Biden White House seemed to forego the vetting process due to Sam's non-binary intersectional appeal, even allies in the gay community are onto the alleged criminal scams. LGBTQ Nation is now questioning whether Sam's outrageous story was always too good to be true. But if you missed all the red flags with Sam Brinton, I recommend you never try bullfighting. <laughs> According to the piece, Sam claimed to be a conversion therapy survivor, but there were more holes in that story than Sam's fishnets. <laughs> Writes the author, the red flags regarding Brinton were overwhelming and obvious. Is Sam a fabulist or a legitimate survivor? After 12 years, I can't definitively, definitively say. But we can definitively not say definitively. <laughs> <laughs> but we can say for sure that Sam's into kinky puppy play. That's when you get aroused by making someone wear a leather dog mask and walking them around on a leash. Which reminds me, Todd, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> Todd, you know what drives me crazy about this story is that we're supposed to pretend that we didn't notice something was wrong until, <laughs> right, he, was, right, right. until he was arrested. Oh, now we go, oh my goodness, what's happening? No, 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 no. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Trump was onto something when he's like, I like people that look like they came from central casting for the job <laughs> that they're supposed to be going for. Uh, this ain't central casting unless it's a really weird show. Um, but <laughs> my whole point on this, I think you hit it right on the head when you said this is basically the Biden administration using their woke bingo card to appoint people. They consistently hire unqualified individuals just so they can fill up that woke bingo card. And Greg, we're left holding the bag. Mm, nicely done. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Joe, that's all yours if you want it. And, and one final <laughs> and, and, and one final point on this. You said it in that beautiful clip you showed of Thank that you. amazing guy, yeah. Greg Gutfeld. What sick, depraved individual goes to friggin' baggage claim if they haven't checked a bag? Yes. You get to avoid that monstrosity of 20 minutes waiting and, you know, stepping in front of that old lady with a card who tries yeah. to steal your bag you can't see. Sorry, I'm fired up. Sorry. No. It's, sorry. It's, it's all right. right. No, you're, you're absolutely right. And now it's the, the second one. He can't just say it was a mistake. It's they. It's not he, it's they. Oh, th I'm No, I'm, look, I'm sorry, but just d don't misgender. Just say they, them. There's plenty of to talk about this person. Yes. Like, but, um, <laughs> Pat, it took me an hour to go well, through that darn article because I was like, who's they? I'm Wait, here to help you. Yeah. Who's he? I'm awesome. here to help you. Who? They? I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. They is a f***ing moron. That's how you do it. Last time, we, last time we talked about this, I said this. You don't do crimes. You certainly don't do crimes at an airport where everyone's watching you on video. But apparently, you're so stupid, you're doing this more than once. Mm -hmm. And the defense is like, I didn't know it wasn't my bet. You did because you took the label off and you put it in. People saw you do that, too. I don't know what defense there would possibly be. Might have to do, like, a Winona Ryder. I have a stealing disease thing. Mm -hmm. um, or be, or make it environmental. Be like, listen, I'm a reduce. Re <laughs> look, look, I'm not gonna say I'm a reduce 
reuse, recycle guy, like Todd would, I'm gonna say I'm a reduce, reuse, recycle they. Right. And what I was doing wasn't stealing, it was just conscripted reusing. Ugh. <laughs> Well, you know what? I still, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to use they. I'm in the Jordan Peterson school. No one compels me to use pronouns. So, uh, yeah. but your point about doing it in a very surveilled environment has more to do with entitlement. Who cares if anybody sees me? That's what it's about. If they see me, I'm special. It doesn't matter. That's where I think it's coming from. And I want to ask you, uh, Tyrus, because we, this is very, uh, Sam's ascendance is very similar to uh, Griner's release, right? It's like if I had to apply for a job against uh, Sam Brinton, I wouldn't get it because I didn't tick the boxes. If I were in a Russian prison and Briner was up for it, I wouldn't get released before her because they all tick the boxes. Boxes matter more than character. Well, Martin Luther King said to not judge men and women. I don't, I'm sure he meant they and thems too. Um, <laughs> not by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was the goal of the civil rights movement. That was so where regardless of how you looked, who you slept with, what you thought, if you were a good person, you were accepted and respected. Mm -hmm. We don't do that anymore. We have gone the polar opposite to where if you check enough boxes, the content of your character is irrelevant. And who does it hurt? It hurts the group you represent. Of course. So there are qualified, non-binary, they's, them's that could do this job, do it at a high level. There is gay men and gay women there that could do this job at a high level. But they're not getting that opportunity because this individual looked the part, looked so much the part that the virtue signaling progressives that gave them the job didn't care. This wasn't the first time this individual stole things. It's, a, it's an arrogance. Mm -hmm. I, it's such an arrogance to where I will go take a bag and t rip the name off of it in an airport and roll out of it. And this is not the second time. This is probably the hundredth time. He's, it's been doing this for a long time. And because you can't uh, they, them, it, what, my, I'm a conspiracy theorist. My pronouns are told you so. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> but it all, it all goes back to the same thing. I don't care how they dress, how they look, he, she looks. The character is disgusting. Yeah. And that's the uh, problem. For me, it's I'll call you whatever I want, but if you steal from me, I will be calling the cops. Yes. <laughs> Joe, uh, I don't know what pronoun you go by. I'm Joe. free this weekend, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, now what, Gutfeld? <laughs> no. I'll tell you what, though, Greg, this guy can spin a yarn, can he? Yes. You know? I mean, uh, that maybe that's why Joe Biden hired him, because if you... If you listen to Joe Biden, he's a truck driver that was raised by Puerto Ricans. <laughs> and he has oil cancer. Yeah. Uh, so, so he fits right in. I, I would like to see the other applicants, though, before I judge. Maybe it was like some executive at Enron, Mahmoud <laughs> Ikhmanijad, <laughs> and Hunter Biden. And that's a... <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, if you don't want to be vetted, if you don't want to be vetted by a Democrat government, you know, non-binary, deliberately uglify yourself with te a terrible choice in lipstick every time. <laughs> Do you notice that? Terrible choices. I, I try to not notice at all, to be honest with you. Publish photos of yourself in a lot of kink. You won't get kink shamed, you, or you'll be, you can accuse every critic of transphobia. You got it made. I'm thinking about you doing know, that when it comes up to my contract. You know what me? When a, when a woman does is over sexual they call her all kinds of names yes but if a man transitions to be you could do woman-esque or feminine and is completely like that they they refer to them as a hero like right. it's just it, it's really not uh, it's what does really that remind fair. you of the canadian teacher yep oh <laughs> we're gonna do an entire hour on that next i i feel hey sick. trade me yeah, to cnn I, plus yeah. <laughs> i don't feel well <laughs>
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.